Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to talk about patty wax and we're even going to unbox more patty wax and I'm going to be 100% honest with you in this video because I don't have any reason not to be. Okay, while I try to struggle and open this up, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a backstory. First of all, this diamond painting is one that I've been working on in the background. I put it away a little while ago, but I had an itch to do a square and this is one of the canvases I want to complete in the next few months so that you guys have my updated opinions on who I can. Because I decided to give them a second try after not going there for a year. I'm going to put this down for a second so we can look what's inside here. So anyway, if you want to check out that video, I'll just put it in the eye just up in the corner of the video. Um, so let's, let's talk first before we get into this unboxing. Robin, with a Y, Distracted by Diamonds here on YouTube, was one of, the, one of my favorite YouTube channels for diamond painting last year. Okay, I love her style. I love the way she talks. I love her nails. <laughs> and it occurred to her sometime later in the summer, I want to say, or the autumn, she talked to me. We had a long conversation about what if, what if we could make better wax? Not we, her. What if she could make better wax? And I was like, go for it. So she kept me up to date and let me know what, what was going on and how it was progressing. Blah, blah, blah. Time goes on. She asked me my opinions. I was like, girl, go for it. There's a market. I love cool accessories. Why not? Okay. Because as somebody who loves to buy all the little things for crafts that she does, I'm into this. It's not for everybody, right? So anyway, you guys know what patty wax is. If you don't know what it is, it is not a candle. It is diamond painting wax. Basically, what you do is you choose a scent and you would basically load it up in your pen and it will pick up diamonds. And it worked a lot longer and better, in my opinion, than pink wax. I've done a lot of testing. Y'all know that I do a lot of diamond painting. Or I was doing a lot of diamond painting up until just after Christmas. I've taken a little bit of a break since then. I have all sorts of different scents here. These are just a few of the ones that I have. And essentially, she only sends, sells on Etsy. And oh, it smells good. It's like um, people ask what Mermaid Lagoon smells like because it's, to me, it smells like baby powder or like a really clean almost like a clean cotton scent. It's hard to explain, but it's a really clean, subtle scent. Um, warm Perrin Cedar does smell just like it says. It smells like Christmas time to me. I'm still using it, I don't care. <laughs> you can tell by the bag, right? Um, patchouli is really, really strong. It always has been, you know, but in the bar even. Hooey! It is strong, so, and these don't lose their scent. Butter pecan is also a really good fla flavor scent. Mmm, it, it smells like a kitchen should. <laughs> so anyway, you can see in here that I've used them before, and we're going to talk about how, how to load up your pen and everything else. In fact, I got a brand new single placer put into this pen. Or no, I haven't yet. I want to show you I've got the new one right here, um, but we'll do that in a minute. Let's look at what's in here. Oh, a fireball. I haven't had one of them in years. She gives you some candy. <gasps> this is the Patty Wax Super Sticky version. SS, she calls it, and it comes in a tin. So I got the unicorn tin. It is unscented. It smells like nothing but it's a unicorn. Thank you so much. That is so cute. Oh my God. Um, and then what else do we have? Ooh, one of those lychee or strawberry gummies. Yum. Thank you. You know me so well. Oh yeah. 
Nice. She sent me some extra scents too. So we have, oh, and look at these new stickers. We have Mermaid Lagoon again and Beachwood Vetiver. Vetiver. I'm not sure how to say that word. Let's see if this smells any different. It shouldn't. Hold on. Do you know how when you smell something, you have to, you taste it? I'm not an expert at scents. It smells sort of like a hint of lime as well. Like a, like a tropical scent without the pineapple. That's the best I can describe it. Beechwood. Oh my gosh, that smells like... That takes me back to middle school. And there was like these scents that um, bed, bed, bath and beyond. No, 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 no. Bed, bath and bath, beyond, no. Bath and body works. That's what it was. They had those body sprays. It smells like that. That's a really nice scent. So anyway, she's got all of these. These are the regular patty wax. This is the super sticky. So we're going to move these. We're going we're gonna to talk about both independently, okay? Let's, let's start with these. Okay, these are the tins that she used to make. Magnetic tins. You can put your cover minder on top. And you can put in your patty wax bricks. And then, you know, the, they'd be safe. Um, let me get... I'm going to use... What, which one do I want to use today? I'm going to use this beech wood because it's new. And I'm going to move this stuff to the side, and then we'll talk about this. Thank you for the candy, Robin. Um, oh, and I meant to say, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's stickers as well. <laughs> I'm a paint with diamonds kind of girl. Oh, that's sweet. Save me. And a ring pop. That's awesome. Thank you so much. She says, um, thank you for being a loyal Patty Wax customer. You rock, and I appreciate you. Please keep coming back for great scents, colors, and innovative storage solutions. Basically, to look pretty, because it truly needs no special storage. If you get time, I'd love to know what you think of my wax. Feedback make, makes my product better and lets me know I'm on the right track. Enjoy your wax and have fun diamond painting. Now, let's look at what this can do. So, I'm going to show you real quick... Um, and then I'm, I'm going to bring it down as well. I'm going to show you what happened to my tip. So you guys know that this is my favorite pen of all time. This pen comes from Lace and Lathe Works. He has a Facebook group that I have linked down below. If you don't do Facebook, I believe that you can find him online if you just search for Lace and Lathe Works in Google. Um, he may have a website. <clears throat> But it should have contact details for him. Anyway, um, it's my favorite pen ever that I that I ever got. Um, I have lots and lots of diamond painting pens, but this is the one that I use the most. I don't know if it's because it has wood in it or what, but anyway, I digress. Uh, the reason, let me bring you in. I'm going to look at her pretty face. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. The tip of this pen is slightly misshapen, just there at 12 o'clock. See it? So, unfortunately, this pen is now pretty much useless to me. So, I had pulled it out a minute ago. But if you pull out the end of any of your, you know, you can pull out the end of any diamond painting pen, even if it's hot glued in there by the, by the creator, you can still get it jiggled out and then you can replace it with a new one. And I realized this like, <laughs> I don't know, two weeks ago, I was like, oh my gosh, my the tip of my pen is, um, is damaged and uh, it's taken me this long to finally fix it. All right, so it's that easy. All right, so I have a four placer and a single placer. I'm gonna load up my multi-placer end with the regular wax and show you how I do this, okay? Now, Robin has some great tutorials. I will link her video just up above here for you. 
because I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, I keep this edge nice and clean because I like the sparkles in it. So I use the underside. It doesn't matter what size you use, but maybe use this side for best, best outcome. All right, so I hope you saw. It's hard for me to talk and do at the same time, but I just take a chunk out the side. You can scrape along the top or whatever you wanna do, okay? Whatever's best. But basically what I'm doing is I am loading this sucker, all right? So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my multi-placer end and I'm gonna squish it onto the paper, the opaque paper. And then this chunk can go into the trash. We don't need that. So with your finger, you're gonna push it into the pen. And I'm gonna show you here in a minute because this is the part where I think a lot of people turn off and they don't want to work with it. This is, this is a different product than the pen or the, the pink wax, excuse me. It's a totally different product, so you have to treat it different, right? You have to give it a chance. There's a dog hair in here already, Luna. Okay, so here we go. The symbol E is the number 31. For this project, I'm using my Doris storage containers. You can find them online. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're at Michael's, Joann's, Amazon. You can also find them from a few sellers on AliExpress, but I don't recommend doing that because I don't know what the quality of those is. Okay. So, I can only do this a few times, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to get at. I've just loaded this pen. I'm going to pick up four and I'm going to squish as hard as I can. It's going to take and you'll see that the little a little bit of that wax is coming out the side. It's okay. You can then take off the diamonds if you want or you can place them. I'm going to go ahead and place them. Hopefully you can see this. Sorry about the sunlight. And now this is going to happen the first time. If you're like Robin, you might have a piece of double-sided tape on a piece of cardboard. You could do that. If you're like, oh, why should I have to do that? Well, maybe you don't have to, but that's what we choose to do. But this is how it works. This is how it works. So just take and then you can pick up and you can place. And until you get the excess out, that may happen. So my recommendation to you is if you don't like this step, then you may want to get a little, get a little scrap piece of double-sided tape and then you can, you know, get rid of the excess diamonds that have the gunk on it and not use them on the painting. But I'm just here to show you that it is possible to work directly onto the painting with you know, without having to use the extra piece of double-sided tape. So there you go. It's all good, it's all clean now. And this is the regular patty wax. She says, Robin says, this is really great for use in multi-placers. After lots and lots of testing and lots of customer feedback, that she definitely recommends the original patty wax formula for use in multi-placers, for sure, or for people who don't press very hard when they're diamond painting. I don't press very hard at all. I barely press at all. If you are finding that you're having to thunk those diamonds in, those diamonds might be misshapen. You might have a, an issue with the diamonds. So I'm just using the checkerboard method here that's how I like to diamond paint with a multi-placer. And you might see, like sometimes there might be a little bit of, of excess there, but it's easy to get off. 
It's the same as the pink wax. The pink wax leaves residue as well. And when you're finished with the diamond painting, it's so easy to get rid of it by just using an old toothbrush that you don't use on your teeth anymore and just going over the diamond painting with the toothbrush. I do it because I have do a dog and my dog sheds, I shed, and I get little hairs in there. So I do it anyway, um, regardless of what kind of wax I'm using. So that's how I load up my multi-placer. And I'm sure that in the past I have shown how to load up the single placer. It's exactly the same. You scrape the top, I'll show you here. You scrape the top of the, the brick, like so. And then you'll have this kind of, well, Robin calls it a booger. <laughs> Um, you'll have this little piece of excess and I, I just get rid of it right on the top of the brick and then this is going to sound really weird but I squish it on my nail because I paint my nails. I have those color street strips on them and that'll flatten it. Now what happens when you put a rounded surface into a flat object is that it'll ooze off the sides. That's just normal. So. Hopefully you can see this. Good Lord, it is sunny today. I'm gonna squish it again, like I did with the multi-placer, and it comes out the sides. I take off that diamond, the diamond is fine, put it back in the tray, and then I scrape off the excess on the edges there, just like that. And then you're good to go. So you can start diamond painting right away. I don't find any issue with that at all. Now. Like I said, after a while, Robin found that some people were having issues, issues with temperature, um, issues with the wax coming out of the pen. And I have to say, if I was feeling a bit heavy handed, that wax would come out the pen. But, you know, it's, it's a good indicator of how stressed you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and the more stressed I am, the harder I press those diamonds into the canvas. There's no need for it. But let's just pretend, I'm gonna pretend for a minute that I am the hardest pressing diamond painter in my little world. Ooh, there's an extra drill there. I hope you can see that there is a bit of residue on these diamonds because of how hard I am pushing them onto the canvas. I'm pretty sure that I used to diamond paint like this, y'all. And then it started to hurt my hand. I was like, this is supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> okay, can you see how, let me zoom in. There is a little bit of residue on these diamonds. They're a little less shiny than those diamonds. It's actually really hard to see, in fairness. All right. So we're back to the one zoom. All right, now let's clean this out. If you need to clean it out for whatever reason, I recommend cleaning it out, but some I'm sure some people wouldn't. They just add more wax and more wax and more wax. You just take, take some tweezers and you fish it out of there. Easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we're gonna try the super sticky. Robin, in her video, her latest video, I'll have to link that up here. She says that the super sticky wax, can we just appreciate the lid of that? Oh my God. Um, she says the super sticky wax is best for single placing. Do not use it in your multi-placer, she says. So I'm doing the same thing that I would do for the other one. Oh my gosh, this is so strong. Okay. It's already a different formula. I can feel how sticky it is. And like I said, I press it down. Oops, it drills on my fingers. Okay, dress, press it down onto the paper, onto your nail, whatever you want. And then I'm gonna sacrifice a drill by pressing it and then having it go out the sides. And then, oh. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta play with this for a while, clearly. Cause it doesn't wanna let go. All right, I'm gonna throw that one away. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, in fairness, I only watched Robin's video. 
So if Tiny, Worlds of Wonder, is another creator, if she has put out a video, yeah, there's something I'm doing wrong. Hold on. Then you probably want to watch that one. Let's see. Let's see, I think. Sorry, I'm concentrating now. I'm probably going to speed this up, though. Ooh. Listen to that pop. All right, I got it. <laughs> Something was wrong with the way that I put it in the pen because the second time worked. But I highly recommend checking out their videos because they, you know, they have made some really good videos about it. This is my first time. Well, not my first time attempting it, but definitely, I'm, I'm definitely putting this up because I like it. I like when people try new things. It's a brand new, you know, well, very, very heavily tested product. But Robin was, you know, right there. She's got an inventor's brain, you know. She knew that something needed to be done. And so she went ahead and she discovered something that, you know, maybe wasn't a need for everybody, but certainly has revolutionized the way that I diamond paint. The only time that I use pink wax now is when I'm working with drills that pop. So for example, uh, when... No, no spoilers, but when I go to fill in this checkerboard, I'm probably going to use a pen with pink wax. But there will be more info about that and this painting in particular in the future. I don't want to give it away. So, all right, let's have a look. Again, I'm sorry about the sunlight, but I can't help it. Um, where I started the new... Patty wax. There was a bit. Hold on, let me get my. Okay. Where I started the new patty wax, there's a bit of residue. I could, you know what we could do? We could fill in this. We'll try filling this in and see how it manages with drills that don't quite fit. Actually, I like I like the unscented version as well. If you are if you are prone to headaches because of scents, this would be really great for you. But you can also get the original patty wax in unscented as well. For some of them, it feels like the wax is so strong that it doesn't want to give, give up the diamond. So maybe it's the temperature. This room is now hecka warm. <laughs> it is so warm in here now. But we go through severe temperature fluctuations between below freezing and like 40, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's kind of insane. I've heard, I've heard 
that if you live in a very cold climate where it gets below freezing or it's always below freezing that this may not work and that's just that just makes sense to me because wax needs to be warm in order to stick so I'm afraid that it in a way in in its nature will exclude some customers from purchasing but you know what they say you can't please everybody either so apologies to anybody who feels excluded I'm sure that Robin didn't make it in, on purpose for anybody to feel excluded but I'm sure that some people watch YouTube videos of you know people YouTube creators using these products and other people commenting and saying that they love these products and they feel left out but all I can say is move to Florida <laughs> no I'm just joking I'm just joking. You should move to Ireland. <laughs> so, okay. So I filled it in. Oh, for real? Hold on. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let's pretend that you didn't see that. Um, so this is the section that I've done. Um, let's see if I turn on the light. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Oops. There we go. So I hope you can see that there isn't any issues here at all with the placement, with the stickiness. I mean, everything is good in my opinion. This, I think for a lot of people, they might think of this as a frivolous accessory and that's fine if you believe that. But for others, it is something fun and interesting to to play with to use while diamond painting and that's exactly how I feel about it I know that you get enough pink glue to hold together a rescue ship um, <laughs> but it's you know when when you're buying these diamond paintings they're not going to give you always the best that they possibly can um, and how do I put this Okay, cut that out. <laughs> so we know that diamond painting kits, when you purchase them, no matter, you know, wherever you're purchasing from, the toolkit, it varies, you know, there's, there's different toolkits, different, we, we, we sometimes rate the canvas on the accessories that come with it. Um, but all in all, I think that the pink wax that comes with diamond painting kits, it's sufficient, but it's not special. This is special. Okay, guys. So now that I've cleaned that up, um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're interested in purchasing patty wax for yourself, it is only available on Etsy. So at the moment, anyway, as of this video right now, there's no website. It is simply on Etsy. If you see it somewhere else named Patty Wax, it's not the same. Um, please head on over to Robin's Etsy shop, which is Patty Wax with two X's, and I will have it linked down below so you can go check it out. My recommendation is to, to favorite her shop, which is that little heart icon that's next to the logo. And that way you'll be notified when new items are posted into the shop because they sell out within a few minutes of being posted. You have to be on it, on it, like white on rice on it. So please check her out. I hope that you can try this sometime if you haven't tried it already. And if you have tried it already, please feel free and leave your comments down below. Maybe you can help someone else. Let them know what your experience was, where you're located, you know, what your climate is like. Because I think that that's a big determination in how well it works. So with that being said, I'm not going to make this any longer. Thank you for joining me on this little video where I'm showing you how I use patty wax and how it works for me, how I load the pen and everything. I do appreciate you sticking around. Get it? <laughs> 
stay, yeah. okay I'm gonna I'm gonna see myself out now thanks for spending time with me and I'll see you all in the next video take care guys bye